guys, it is Ariel. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands because like I just like hand signals. So right now, as you can see, this is not my house. Usually my wall is purple, this wall is red. I am in Los Angeles. I'm gonna tell you the story about the last time I was in LA. Dun, dun, dun. Monday, I flew down to LA and I had been sick for Saturday and Sunday, the two days prior. I thought it was stress. I didn't have a fever or anything. I don't know, my, my throat was just bad and everything was just bad. I was just sick and run down. The freaking head quite early for my face. Good enough. On the plane ride, I just started getting worse and worse and worse. Not that like every hour, it's like, oh my God, my nose is a little bit stuffy right now. My throat is a little hurting a little more. I was starting to feel like really not well. And when we landed in LA that day, we landed there really early in the morning, like at 10. I told my parents, I was like, guys, I'm really not feeling well. And I have, I was supposed to have a photo shoot that day. I was like, before my photo shoot, let's see what I have and get medicine. Maybe I have to go to sleep. Maybe I have to have soup. I don't know. Let's just feel as good for the photo shoot as possible because right now my face was like, my eyes were like bloodshot and I just was not ready to have a photo shoot in any way, shape, or form because I just looked like a disaster. So we went to urgent care. It took like freaking 10 years for them to freaking call me in the freaking room. But when I got in there, first of all, it was freezing, freezing ice cold. The coldest cold I've ever felt in my entire life, probably because I was sick too, so I felt even a higher temperature of cold, but I was freezing my everything off. The doctor came, he checked me for strep. I didn't have strep. He's like, you might have the flu, whatever. And I was like, wait, 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 hold on. Because my arms have been getting, have been going to sleep super, super, super fast. You know when your arms fall asleep, like if maybe you're in a really weird position. Well, my arms were falling asleep when I was just texting on my phone or something. It was like, that's strange. And he lift, he's like, let me see your arm. And he lifted up my arm. For whatever reason, my body, you can see little red veins or whatever, that's how it is. But my veins were like showing, showing, showing. And I was like, no, 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 I've gotten that since I was a baby. Whenever I'm cold, that's what happens to my arm. And he was like, no, you are, da -da 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 -da. you need to go see a better doctor. This is not okay. We think something's going on. Da -da -da -da. We have to send you to the ER. I was like, Slow down, back up. Meanwhile, in my head, the first thing that's popping into my head is like, okay, I'm gonna die. Or my arms keep falling asleep, so I'm gonna be paralyzed. Just in that one episode of like, that, so there's an episode on a TV show where the kid was paralyzed because his arms kept falling asleep. I was like, oh my God, no. Me being the dramatic person I am, I bust out crying, run out of there. We get in the car. So we get to the first ER. Well, I'm saying first because we went to two. And I kid you not. We walk up in the ER and I don't know what he was thinking. There was not a single soul in the building. It was dead silence, nobody there. I mean, of course, my mother, given the fact that she's my mother, she's the one who freaks out and my dad's like the one who calms her down. Jacob is like, oh, this like, oh, this is a crazy day. I'm having so much fun. Oh my God. My mom's like, they sent us to this hospital. Nobody's here. My daughter needs this. What the hell are we gonna do? So my dad was like, Sharon, it's okay, sweetheart. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna find the hospital for her. It's okay. She's gonna be fine. My mom was like, yeah, she's not gonna be fine. Ah, we need to go now. We made a very quick decision to get out of that hospital because we knew nobody's gonna treat us at that hospital because there was not a single soul in sight. We get back in the car, we call my manager, ask her what, what's the recommended like hospital here because we trust her and she lives here. So she gave us a hospital. We're in the car, my mom is still ah! and my dad's like, it's okay, so we gotta calm down, calm down. And I'm like crying in the back. My brother's on his phone, I'm like, this is such a fun day, I'm having a great time. We get there, they like rush me out of the freaking car. This hospital, there was nobody there, okay? This hospital, I swear to God, there was like Freaking, it was like day of the something because there was so many people there. Like, by the way, they sent us to the emergency room. It wasn't just a hospital, they wanted us to go to the emergency room to get my blood taken. And my mom, again, being my mom, she like pushes everybody inside, she gets to the front, she's like, we need my daughter to be seen now, we need blood work and da -da -da -da. The lady at the front desk is like, hold on, we have a lot of people in front of you and we'll get to her. Now! Hold on, miss. It might take three to four hours. 
three to four hours before I can get seen. We've already been like on driving on the road for like two hours. My mom does some kind of magic and they said they can try to get me in sooner. My brother comes with me to the car so I can sleep in the car. I think I fell asleep for like an hour. When I woke up, we were at the freaking urgent care. So I guess while I was sleeping, or I guess whatever, they had driven back to the urgent care. And I'm like kind of like a zombie at this point. I'm just getting taken wherever people want to take me. We walk inside the place. I guess my mom checked my arm while I was sleeping or something, but my arm, the swelling had gone down. My arm wasn't falling asleep anymore, and I, I think my fever went a little bit down. So the guy was like, okay, you know what? Fine, we can just take her blood here. You can just take my blood here. My mom, again, she's like, what do you mean you can take her blood? Here. We went to drive around the entire day to like two different ERs. He's like, yes, we just wanted to get seen by a professional, but we can do it here also. Whatever. What ended up happening was I got my blood taken. That was actually the first time I ever got my blood taken, so I was kind of freaking out. And I had to get a shot in my butt. And let me tell you, the shot in the butt is the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. Yeah, that's my story. So what ended up happening was I really just had the flu. And I got better in like two days. I was fine. If you guys enjoyed this story of me almost dying. I'm probably gonna start doing a lot more story times. Comment down below videos that you want me to make that are like talking videos, whether it's advice videos, whether it's Q and A's, whether it's story times like this, because trust me, I have a ton of stories. Just let me know in the comments and yeah. I love you more than anything. I will see you next Thursday. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Musical.ly, because I post them there every, 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 every single day. And yeah. I love you guys more than anything on Swamp Star Planet and 